Hey y'all, it is Thursday, September 26, 2013, and you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works with me, Texas Danielle. Um, this week's question is going to be really fast and simple for me, so I'm just going to do a little recap of me. Sorry guys, i am got to fix my blankies. It's a little chilly here. Um, for those of you just joining in, I am a lap band patient. I do have my own channel on YouTube. It is Texas Danielle, T E X A S D A N I E L L E. Um, you will follow my journey there from the very beginning. In April 2012, I started my pre op process. I had surgery January 2013, and I have had a total loss for my highest weight of 115 pounds lost. Um, and you will just find my journey there. I love my lap band, it does what it needs to do. And it uh, keeps me satisfied whenever I work it. you got to follow the rules of your doctor. Um, so this week's question, sorry my dog is like crazy. This week's question is uh, stress, how to deal. How do you deal with stress without eating? Very easy for me guys. It depends on the type of stress. If it's an anger stress, like... Um, I should say somebody pissed me off and made me mad at work or what have you. I uh, tend to come home and work out. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll show them. I'll, sh I'll you know. Um, that is how I deal with anger stress. Uh, or let's say it's stress over finances. I'll, I'll go work out for that as well just so I can ignore the situation, which isn't the best way of coping. But things do work out in the end, guys. It, I do take care of my business. Um, if it's an emotional stress, it depends on... I've had my first emotional stress with my lap band. And it affected me to the point where I could not eat. Literally, my band would not allow me to eat. Liquids were taking forever. So I did a liquid mushy diet for two days before my band relaxed. So, in that situation, I can't eat. Um, and in that point, whenever I get to that stage, I usually sleep then anyways. I just sleep that emotional stress out, if that makes sense. I'd rather go to sleep. It, it really wears on me, makes me super tired. Or if, if I have another stressful situation is I tend to want to do crafts or I'll clean the kitchen, I'll clean the bathroom, hell I'll clean anything. Now uh, I'm not the best cleaner. <laughs> I have clutter but whenever I get in those stressful situations I'll tidy up and clean and like I'll deep clean the kitchen. For some reason I love to clean the kitchen. Um, so yeah that is pretty much how I deal with stress. I either work out, I sleep, or I literally cannot eat because of my band. That is how I have learned to deal with stress so far, and I I am 35 weeks post-op lap band, so that's eight months, seven months, seven months, sorry guys, seven months post-op. So I haven't had to deal with too much stress in that aspect, thank God, uh, haven't had too much to deal with recently, so that's always a good thing. Um, that's not to say I haven't wanted to eat when I'm stressed out. I, I will complain to my husband and say, I just want to eat a cupcake. I just want to eat a whole tub of ice cream. I just want to eat burgers and fries. Uh, I still want everything, but I know, for one, I can't get in the quantity, which is what I want. I want quantity. No. Yeah. Quantity. I want a burger this big and fries to match. And for me, I know I can't get it in. I can't eat that much, so it's not satisfying to me, so I don't even do it. Um, yeah, so then I go and work out. I'll work out, sleep it off, or I will sit and ponder on it. It's quick and easy, guys. Sorry, that's, that is how I deal with stress right now in my life. I haven't had to deal with too much yet, so like I said, easy peasy, short and sweet. Stay tuned in tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. And I hope everybody has a great week. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.